What's going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, you guys are probably wondering why do I have a webcam and that's because I haven't used a webcam in such a long time, so why not in this tutorial? Anyways, in this tutorial, you guys have told me to do a plugin tutorial for Final Cut and I used two of my favorite plugins that are for free for Final Cut Pro. So let's not waste any time and let's get started with the tutorial. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these websites, so if you guys wanna go ahead and check them out, then feel free to do so. So anyways, if you go over to fxfactory.com, you will see this page here that gives you a list of uh, plugins that you could buy and download to install it onto Final Cut Pro. If you go over to products, first of all, you go down to uh, pan and zoom that's the one we're going to be downloading so click on pan and zoom and of course this one works with final cut pro motion 5 uh, or mo any motion any version of motion by apple of course will work premiere pro cs6 or cc after effects cs6 and cc and it's also for free which is a good thing so what you do is you click on this button here and yours is going to take you to another website where you could download it you do have to register i believe i'm not sure entirely but you have to download the FX Factory application for your Mac. And this also works on a PC, I believe. So click free. Uh, I already have installed the program, so I'm gonna just launch it. And it's gonna look like this once you have downloaded it and installed it onto your computer. So it's gonna look like FX Factory right here. Well, it says FX Factory here. And then if you go back, uh, it's gonna look like this, first of all. And here you could download some trials if you want to. Um, yeah, here you have the staff picks and here you can see what's new for uh, for their plugins and stuff like that. You could also purchase some if you want. They are kind of pricey, but it's totally worth it. Anyway, so we click on that and here it gives you like a tutorial for the actual um, plugin itself. And it also gives you like this tutorial in Premiere Pro. All right, so once you have gone here, you, of course, you're gonna have to download it um, and it's gonna say, uh, download just like this and then it's gonna be installed you do have to make sure that um, Premiere Pro is closed or not Premiere Final Cut is closed and once it's closed you open it back up and here is the footage that I have used of course to find it you have to go into the transitions uh, window here or the button here or you could go over to the generators tab and look for I believe it's called pan and zoom which I can once I can make this bigger here, so it's called pan and zoom. Also, if you look over to the transitions, you will find it there. So if you go down to pan and zoom, you have the same feature there. If you go over to um, the transition, you can see that it's kind of different. If you go over to the generators tab, compared to the transition, it just looks a little bit different. Um, either one works, but all you have to do is just drag this onto the timeline. And once you're on here, um, by the way, let me show you how it looks like beforehand. So let me go ahead and push play. And this is what we're going to be creating here. You could create, you can create many, many um, pan and zooms with this plugin, I guess. So if I go ahead and play it from the beginning, you can see that it kind of pan, kind of pans out and kind of shows the picture of this girl here. And then we're going to go over to the generators tab. Now, if you're going to be using this on pictures, um, you have to use this or on video, um, and you want to place it in in the actual thing. You have to use the generators, but. If you have your footage already in the timeline and you want to transition it from the other clip to the next, you actually have to go to the transitions. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go over to the generators tab and I'm going to go to pan and zoom. And you also have um, FX Factory Pro. Uh, and these are some plugins too that helps you. I don't know what each one does, but if you guys know what it is, then you guys could check those out too. But we're going to be focusing on pan and zoom. So just drag that onto the timeline there. Final Cut Pro will have to render this out, so just let it render it out. Now, you're going to have this right here. It's going to be in green. Now, we're going to go ahead and go to Choose Image File. And on the left side right here, it's going to say Register. Just register it. It's for free. Um, you're not you're not paying for it because it's already free. Um, but it just makes that thing go away. Anyways, look for a picture that you want to use. Here is Position 1 and here is Position 2. Position 1 is where it's going to start and Position 2 is where it's going to end. Anyways, I'm gonna start it like I'm gonna start it right here on her face and You could also make this bigger or smaller and to do that all you have to do is click on setup click it again uh, Make sure it's like this and then click on the inspector tab now if you go down to project media uh, You can change that to animation now. This is where you could change it up a bit right now I have it to I have it set to automatic you could choose manual if you want, but I'm not gonna do that 
So I'm going to start it from there and then position two, if you go down, first of all, you're going to have position one and here you can change where it is located first of all. So I'm going to, I'm going to move it like right there. You could also change the Y coordinates so it moves up and down. Uh, I'm going to just move that down just to here. And then you could also scale this up or down depending how big you want the pan to be. Uh, also, how, depending how big the pan is, the, the duration is going to change too. But you could also manually change the duration if you would like. Now here on the angle, you could actually change the angle to however you want. I'm going to move it like this so it kind of gets her, her beanie there. And then on position two, I'm going to move that and kind of go like this. And then so it kind of fills up the whole thing if that makes any sense. So to do that, it's very simple. All I got to do is just change the scale and make it a little bit bigger and then move this up just like so. And I'm going to change the angle too. I'm going to move it kind of like like that. So it's going to kind of so it's going to zoom out and then it's going to zoom in here or depending how you have set this up. If you have it smaller, of course, it's going to zoom down or it's going to zoom in. So we have now angle two and cool. Now the animation time, uh, we're gonna have duration of a clip. So if your video is like a minute long or your picture is a minute long in duration, uh, it's gonna be very, very slow. But if you have it like set to four, four seconds or something like that, five seconds, then it's just gonna take five seconds. And you can see that as I scroll, as I move my mouse cursor over the video, you're gonna see how it is gonna project on here. So it's going to go like this and then like that, which is really, really cool. It's a nice feature. Now the animation curve, how can I explain this? It's kind of like how it starts off. So if I go over to linear it's, and I click on setup, if you click on setup, it's pretty much the check mark. So if we go down to where it says animation curve and change it to quadratic in and out and I push play, you can see it's going to look a little bit different and it looks a little bit more interesting. So you can mess around and play with that but I'm not a big fan of how I set this up. So I'm gonna change this. Um, again, you could use this a whole effect for a really good like timeline of pictures and stuff like that and add music in the background. That will look very, very nice. So this is a very good plugin if you were, uh, if you were looking for that. And this just kind of broadens the, it broadens the pan and zoom effects and the tools along with it. I'm gonna change the angle because I don't like it one bit. Um, so it's gonna go like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. And the background here, if you were to like make this huge and go outside of the picture, it's gonna be set to a color. And if you if you click on this right here where it says background, and you have the little background, you can change the reds, the green, blue, the opacity. Um, you could also change the color here if you want like red or something like that, which is really cool. The background opacity you could also make that transparent or not. And last but not least, we want to add a motion blur if you want. Um, I personally do check it because it's a good feature. Uh, so I select low and then cool. And then if you go down, if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see shutter angle and shutter offset. If you change the shutter angle, this will just change. I can't really explain what it does exactly, but it gives it that much of a cool effect. So I'm going to just drag that to the left and I'm going to drag the shutter offset a little bit to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it so you guys can see how it looks like. It's really, really slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it render that out. Um, so it shouldn't take that long as you can see the progression here. So again, this also works in After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, Motion 5, and After Effects, I think I already said that. And this is a really cool feature. It's for free, you guys uh, can download it. I'll post all the links in the description. And I also have one more plugin to show you after this one. So sorry this video is a little bit long. I just really wanna show you what each thing does and you guys know what to do with it so yeah you have that anyways that's what the that's what the pen and zoom plugin does now there's one more plugin before i let you go and that is called it's called split screen make sure you go over to the generators tab which is where you'll be able to find it and this works better with videos so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use uh, this is just some footage from my school but I will use I'll use some of this footage here. So I'm going to delete that because we don't need that anymore. And we have basic vertical. And what that does is um, it's pretty much a, a, a screen that's split. So you have one video on the left side and one video on the right side that is playing. And you also have like a black bar and you could also change that and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go with the first one. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just drag that into the timeline. I'm gonna hold shift Z to fit it. So right now it's 12 seconds long. So I'm gonna just choose this one here. 
Now to do that, first of all, go over to the inspector uh, tab and then go to generator. And then where it says left, click on that. And then we're gonna select this one here, this footage. You could also do that in here. If you already have footage in your timeline, you can just click on it and it will add it onto the first uh, box here, which is the left one. And then on the right side, uh, make sure you click apply clip. And then for the right one, we're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna select this one here, just like that. And then click apply clip and then cool. So once you've done that, now if we go back and play it, you can see that it is now playing both at the same time but you can see that there's like a black line and not a lot of you will like that and you can change it to white if you want to do that it's very simple just go over to solids make sure you're still in the generators tab go over to white drag that on the bottom of your video clip and or in the bottom of the plugin select that go over to where it says color in the generator tab right now it's set to smoky and you can see that it's taking effect you could do mint, which is going to be like a soft white greenish color. You can do ivory, cream. I choose bright white, so if I push play, you can see that it's now in the middle. You could actually change the opacity. So if you don't want, you could change the opacity of the footage, of course. But um, you could also scale it if you want or make it smaller. If you scale it down, it looks pretty cool. But actually, let's go with 95. I think 95 looks good. You also want to make sure they're um, symmetrical. So just put 95 and 95. And the thickness is kind of the the middle bar is too thick, so I'm gonna just decrease this here, and you can see that you could take it off completely, or you could add or in, or increase it. So I'm gonna just choose like 60. I think 60 looks good. And again, you can choose the opacity on this footage if you want, so you could add some text there too, which is really really cool. And you could rotate the screens if you want, so you could do that too. So you could have it playing like this, but I think that looks kind of weird, so I'm gonna just put it back. And of course here you can change the position and add some keyframes and all that crazy stuff. And that's for the first one. Now for the second one, you have pretty much just, it's the exact same thing, but there's more uh, there's more stuff that you could add here. So on the left one, we're gonna click on this. I'll just click that. And make sure you click on apply clip. The top right box, we're gonna add this one. Click apply, and then for the last one here, just click on that. Click on the bottom right and then click on another footage click apply clip now this is actually a really good effect if you guys are making a music video and you have like multiple multi-cam multi shots then this will work very good again if you don't like the black bar just go over to the generators tab go to solids drag the whites under and then change that to bright white and that will get rid of it also if the bar is too thick just go back to the Plug in, go down and change the bar thickness and that will change it, which is really, really cool. And now if you play it back, you can see that you're playing all three clips simultaneously and that is awesome. So again, it's going to be a little bit slow because it's rendering and I'm doing everything I'm recording and stuff like that, but it looks pretty good to me. Um, of course, you could always change the duration and stuff like that. If you found this video helpful in any way, then please leave a like in the rating section below. That will be much appreciated. Peace out, take care, and have a good day. You ever have a dream so big that you scared to share? If I told you that I wanna be a billionaire.